We will stage match on September 24th when Buhari will address United Nations Assembly, Yoruba Nation Agitators. My people, as I speak to you, people are marching in the United Nations Headquarters, the Yoruba Nation Agitators under the Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination are about to stage a match on September 24th when the President, Major General Muhammad Buhari retired, will address the 76th session of the high-level general debate of the UN General Assembly at the UN Headquarters in New York. Nina's chairman and leader of the Ilana Omo Udua, Banji Akintoye made this known in a test statement through his spokesman, Maxwell Adeleye. He was reacting to a statement by presidential spokesman, Garba Shehu, who on Wednesday said for Nigerian diaspora groups to use the world's largest platform, United Nations General Assembly, to gather attention to their cause is not acceptable. It was, however, shocking to see Yoruba Nation advocates yesterday unequivocally throw their lot in with the indigenous people of Biafra. IPOP is a designated service organization. It has now publicly revealed a 50,000 strong paramilitary organization. Shell also begged the media to ignore the agitators at the UN Assembly but focus attention on the core issues the president, the leader of the country, has on his program. Reacting, Adelaide said, the Ninas a million man freedom match is a success. It really rattles the Buari government. The Nigerian government is now begging the media not to cover our event, trying to paint our match as an IPOP event. This is a divide and rule tactic that has failed. Ninas has nothing whatsoever to do with IPOP. We should now prepare for the 24th September 2021 when Buari will address the General Assembly to stage another match. The Akintoye led group had gathered at the UN headquarters in New York on Tuesday to alert the UN and the rest of the global community that the Union of Nigeria has failed irredeemably and is now at the verge of a violent disintegration with catastrophic consequences for global peace and security as a population of over 200 million will become an instant global refugee nightmare. Well, this is it. They have decided to march at the UN headquarters, which is at New York. We can see some photos and some videos that I'll be playing on you on your screen. You can see the Yorubas living out there are marching, saying they want their nation, they want their freedom. And also, you are saying that they are not IPOP and they have nothing to do with IPOP, but they are just making sure that the government knows that they are watching. On the 24th of September, is the date Abuari will be addressing the United Nations Assembly in New York, and they are also going to come out on that particular day to march. Gareba Shew is asking the media to ignore them, but they are telling them that they are going to be seen marching on the 24th. They have done that on Tuesday, and they are doing that again on the 24th. You can see some pictures. This is live from New York. Well, what are your thoughts and opinion concerning this? You know, IPOP has been termed a terrorist group, but that gives us the question. With all the bandits have been doing in Nigeria, the bandits have been causing war, kidnapping over 300, 200, 100 children. The last one I heard in Zamfara was 75 children. Till date, the government of Nigeria or this Buari led administration has not termed a bandit a terrorist group till today. The bandits have caused more havoc than IPOB, but the bandits have not been termed a terrorist group. But IPOB, with the little rallies and the little, little protesting they have done, they have been termed a terrorist group. So what happened to these bandits? Bandits have entered the number one defense academy in Nigeria, which is the NDE. They have killed officers. They have kidnapped some. Yesterday, I heard that bandits in Zamfara killed over 18 soldiers. That same um, Zamfara that they are telling us that bandits are fleeing, bandits are fleeing, bandits are fleeing, military onslaught, bandits are fleeing. But the bandits were able to still go and kill 18 soldiers. Are you sure bandits are really fleeing? How come bandits are fleeing when they went to go and burn the speaker's house? The same bandit burnt down the speaker's house two days ago and he said bandits are fleeing. So you can see these bandits are causing havoc. But this gives us the question or this answers our question. They have not been termed a terrorist group because they share the same tribe with some people in government. Aminu Masri, the governor of Kasana, said that these bandits are not foreigners. These bandits have been with us for hundreds of years. And these bandits, most of them, he said, greater percentage, that 90 something percentage of them, are Fulani and they speak Fufu Day. So this is the reason why the bandits have not yet been termed a terrorist group till today in Nigeria. So you can see the partiality in, in, in our politics. You can see the partiality in the security system. This is why Nigeria cannot grow any better. And we know, uh, uh, we have not heard the president for once come out to talk about these Fulani headsmen that are causing issues, killing people 
in this Nigeria. We only heard we only hear the president say headers, 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 but not for once has he commented on this or, or, or called them a full ali headsmen. But the I Aminu mean, Masari came out the governor of Kasina State and said that they are full ali people that are causing these issues. And apart from that, you see the Mayati Allah secretary called him a drunkard. They insulted him, telling him how will he open his mouth and say such nonsense. But the man is saying the truth. Well, I think that the Mayati Allah, the bandit should be termed a terrorist group in the country well i'm happy for what the yoruba nation agitators are doing protesting and making sure that their voice is being heard because as it is now the nigerian government are not doing what they should do people are dying every single day school children are being kidnapped in the in the west in the yoruba land the the, the, the headsmen are still going into their forest killing people raping women and, and, and destroying people's source destroying farmers source of livelihood that is their crops and so many things are going on in in, in the yoruba land without the federal government interfering. The only man that stood up to speak was Sunday Boho, and immediately he stood up to speak. The DSS came and raided his house, killed some of his members, carried his wife away, and now Sunday Boho has to run to Kotonu. And as we speak to you now, Sunday Boho is still in detention in Kotonu, and Nigerian government are struggling to, 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 to extradict him the way they brought Nam the Kano back to Nigeria and they have locked Nam the Kano in, in, in DSS custody until today. His lawyer has been complaining, even the lawyer they brought from abroad to come and see him the dss refused the lawyer that's bruce from seeing nam the Kano. so this is what they want to do they want to bring um, 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 sunday Bo back to nigeria put him in detention and allow him to die there so the Nigeria nation agitators i like what they are doing coming out to see their voice must be heard that the nigerian government cannot keep on suppressing their opinion cannot keep on suppressing their voice and they'll sit down quietly if the if the yorubas in nigeria cannot do it those are the diaspora in united kingdom in america they will keep on protesting you can see them coming out in their large numbers to say enough is enough they want their separate nation and at this particular point on the 24th of september which is a very key day the president of nigeria will be addressing the united nations at new york that's the same day they're going to be staging a rally in that united nation um, headquarters in new york they'll be staging a rally so that the whole world will see that nigeria is not peaceful the whole world will see that nigeria is in a, a, a their need of a solution that the whole world will see that nigeria needs somebody to save them and they have to come out and speak so they will add, draw attention to themselves and this is a good one well what are your thoughts and opinion concerning this you can drop them in the comment section below let us know what you think concerning this rallies and the yoruba nation agitators should they be termed a terrorist group as as gary bashi was saying or are they related to ipop let us know please drop your comments on the comment section below throw more light let us get a clearer understanding the clearer picture of what we we're talking today well of what we, we have discussed today well thank you for staying tuned if you're coming here for the first time this is gleanful and i'm favor bashi the humble presenter for this channel if you're here to subscribe please i would love you to subscribe to this channel hit that subscribe button hit the bell by the side so whenever we drop our quality content you will be the first to get notified so just keep watching gleanful do have a wonderful day god bless you